Have you ever wondered if you've used too much thermal paste when you're installing your processor? Go on, admit to it. You have, right? And in some cases, using too much thermal paste, well, will be pretty messy. This person is concerned. Building my first gaming PC, is this too much thermal paste for the CPU or should I lick it off and repaste? Thermal paste has been one of those things over the years that people have different opinions on. Some people say spread, well, too much, make sure it's enough. Some people say go light and thin. And of course, everyone has their own way that they put thermal paste on and their way is better than anybody else's. <laughs> I've been doing this for, well, a very long time, over 25 years. And how I do it is, if you are enjoying my content, this would be a great time to do everything that's up here. Like, share, subscribe, comment, and of course, hit the notification bell. And how I do it is, I usually dab a blob in the middle, and then I use actually shrink wrap, plastic wrap on my finger. You can use your finger too if you want to, and just kind of dab it down and do this all over the top of the processor. Make sure it's all covered. Not too thick, not too thin, somewhere in the middle. And if there is excess, take it off because, well, it can get quite messy. But other than messy, no, it's better to have too much than not enough. Some are saying lick it just for good measure. Lick it. It's good for your cholesterol. And another person says lick it off and tell us the flavor you got. It goes without saying, of course, do not lick do not ingest thermal compound so what do you think is this too much thermal paste thermal compound i don't think so but the most important thing is to have enough and to make sure that the entire top of the processor is covered with thermal compound